buy a small fortune in gold coins. But cops say it was all a part of a plan to clean out a Placer County man's bank account. But a businessman's gut instinct is what saved the day. You see, the victim had saved enough money to buy a new house, but someone stole his identity and got a hold of his cash. News 10's Suzanne Fon is in Placerville tonight with the exclusive story. An identity thief tried to make off with more than $100,000 worth of gold coins, but he was stopped short by a cautious coin shop owner. Then if I didn't have that gut feeling, uh, basically I could, have, I could have easily given him the merchandise. Christopher Lohman, the owner of Placerville Coin and Bullion, almost handed over a costly collection of coins to a thief. If it wasn't for the diligence of the sheriff's department and my gut feeling, um, he would be off off on the road with $141,000 worth of coins that literally are not traceable. According to federal documents, the thief somehow stole a Newcastle man's identity, created a new driver's license, debit card, and email. The thief stole 140 grand from the victim's bank account at Golden One Credit Union. When the Newcastle man went to wire five grand to buy a new house, he discovered the money was missing. He called the sheriff's department. But by then, the thief had already been into Loman's shop several times. He already wired the money and was waiting to pick it up in the form of gold coins. Each one of these gold coins is valued at about $1,400. The man would have walked away with 96 of these coins for the amount of money he had stolen. The owner says he went through all the proper steps, checked ID, the wire receipt. Yeah, everything was legit. <laughs> but something wasn't right, so he waited. But the thief kept pressing him to hand over the coins. The coins weren't even on site. They were locked away in a bank safety deposit box. By this point, the sheriff's department had narrowed things down to the coin shop and were able to swoop in and arrest the man. We tried to reach the victims by phone today. They say they were shocked by what happened. They were surprised about how it happened, but they couldn't say much more because of an ongoing federal investigation. In Placerville, Suzanne Fawn, News 10.